Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will devise the connective tissue proper. It is classified into four major types loose connective tissue, dense connective tissue, reticular connective tissue, and the adipose tissue. So, first of all, the loose connective tissue. The loose connective tissue is widely distributed in the body. It is packing and anchoring material of the body and act as embedding medium for many structures including blood vessels and the nerves. It binds other tissues, organs, component and organ together and allow it owing to its flexibility, a considerable degree of motility, mobility between such parts. It also forms supporting framework stroma of the most of the organs. Chief examples of the loose connective tissues are the subcutaneous tissue, superficial fascia and the deep fascia, mesentery and omentum. All the three basic components of the connective tissue, cells, fibers and ground substance are the best represented in the loose connective tissue. The two most common types include fibroblasts and macrophages but many mast cells and adipocytes are also present. Out of fibrous elements, the collagen fibers are the most prominent but elastic fibers are also present. Reticular fibers are scarce but they tend to increase in number at places where the loose connective tissue borders upon the other structures. The ground substance of the loose connective tissue is relatively fluid-like and occupies many small areas areola in which no structure is seen in ordinary H and E stain preparations because the ground substance is dissolved out by alcohol and xylene. Therefore, the loose connective tissue is also referred to as loose connective tissue, loose areolar connective tissue. Small blood vessels, capillaries run in the ground substance and supply the cells in the oxygen and nutrient. Fine now fibers are also found in the ground substance of the loose connective tissue.